Hi, good evening, students. Today we are going to discuss resistors connected in series. So you can look at the diagram first. There are three resistors, namely R1, R2, and R3, which are connected in series. And the entire combination is connected across a battery of potential difference V volt. Already you have studied in the earlier classes that when the devices are connected in series, the current flowing through each device will be the same. So what is the main current sent by the battery is I ampere. So the same current I ampere only will flow through each resistor R1, R2 and R3. So the same current only is going to flow through the series combination. But the potential drop or the potential difference across each resistor will be different. Understand? Because the value of R1, R2 and R3 are different. Though the current is the same, the current resistance product, namely the potential drop across R1 and R2 and R3 will be different. Okay. Now from Ohm's law, what is the relationship between the voltage, current and the resistance? Let us see. We know that from Ohm's law, V equal to I into R. So that now you look at the first portion. So here what is V1 equal to? V1 is equal to I into R1. And in this portion, V2 is equal to I into R2. Similarly, what is V3? V3 must be equal to what? I into R3. So this set of equations, I call it as a step 1. This is by applying Ohm's law to each resistor. But what is the applied potential difference is? Yes, V is the applied potential difference. Naturally, in series combination, V1 plus V2 plus V3 must, must be equal to what the net applied potential difference V. Is it not? So, V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. And this is equation number 2. So, for each term on the right hand side as V1, V2 and V3, I am going to substitute the step number 1. You tell me now, what is, uh, therefore, therefore, what is, uh, V must be equal to, therefore, V must be equal to, instead of V1, what shall I substitute? I R1, is it not? So, this is I into R1, plus, instead of V2, what shall I substitute now? I R2, okay? So, this is I R2, plus, instead of V3, I am going to substitute what? I R3, okay? Which is the common factor in the three terms is I. So, I, therefore, okay, therefore, V is now equal to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. And this is a equation number 3. Have you all understood? Okay. Now, I am going to replace all the three resistors by a single resistor which produces the same effect as that of the three. That means... For the given potential difference V volt and for the given current I flowing through the circuit, what will be the value of the effective resistance? What will be the value of the single resistance? Okay, that is also called as what? Equivalent resistance. So for that, I am going to draw another circuit. You see here, all the three resistors are being replaced by a single resistor and if it is denoted by R, Yes, for series and for the given potential difference V volt, okay, for the given potential difference V volt and for the same current I flowing through the circuit. So, what is the expression for RS? I want to find out. So, looking at back the equation 3, here I am going to relate by Ohm's law, V must be equal to I into R, yes. This is equation number 4. Have you all understood that? Yes. R S yes means what? It is an equivalent resistance. Equivalent to how many resistors? Three resistors in series. So, the single resistance R S must be expressed in terms of the three resistors. So, I have got the equation by applying Ohm's law to this circuit. What is V equal to I into R S? So, I am going to compare equations 3 and 4. The left hand side is the one. Are same, is it not? So naturally, what should the right hand side also must be same. So I'm going to compare, okay? Comparing 
equations comparing equations 3 and 4 okay I will write the I or us on the left hand side. So this is I into Rs must be equal to what I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now I factor can be cancelled on both sides common factor. Therefore what is R series is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And this is the final equation number 5. You have got that? So this is a. Okay, R equivalent. You can write the different notations. R equivalent. This also is called as what? R effective. And this is also denoted with the symbol RS. So RS is equal to what? R1 plus R2 plus R3. Have you understood? So what do we uh, infer from this equation? Okay, from the last equation number 5, what do we infer? The equivalent resistance in series combination is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. Is it that? Okay. And you take randomly some value. Randomly some values like this. Okay. I will take for example R1 is equal to 2 ohm and R2 is equal to 3 ohm and R3 is equal to 6 ohm. What will be the equivalent resistance? Can you guess? So what should be R series must be equal to 2 plus 3 plus 6. So this is 2 plus 3 plus 6. So this is 5 plus 6 is equal to what? 11 ohm is the answer. So what is the equivalent resistance is 11 ohm. What are the given 3 resistors to us? 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 6 ohm. So 11 ohm is naturally greater than 2 ohm, greater than 3 ohm and also greater than what 6 ohm. It is found to be greater than all the 3 resistors. So in the given 3 resistors which is the greatest value given to us is 6 ohm. But what is the equivalent resistance is 11 ohm. So what do we infer here? When the resistors are connected in series then the value of the equivalent resistance will be greater than the greatest of the given combination. Understand? Okay. Now let us take N resistors. Okay. N resistors. Each of R ohm. Each of R ohm. Okay. R in series. R in series. N resistors. Okay. So what will be the R equivalent must be equal to R equivalent must be equal to what? R plus R plus R plus like that. How many number of terms are? It will be what? N number of terms. Is it not? N number of terms. So, this will be equal to what? N times R. Therefore, R equivalent must be equal to what? N times R. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the resistors connected in parallel. Okay? You can see in the picture, the three resistors, namely R1, R2 and R3, they are connected in parallel. What is meant by parallel connection? All the left side terminals are joined and connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And all the right end of the resistors are joined and connected to what the negative terminal of the battery. And in parallel combination, the potential difference will be the same across R1, R2 and R3. So the PD across R1 is also V volt. R2 and R3 also is V volt and that is equal to what is the applied potential difference. What is the main current supplied by the battery? That is I ampere. When I ampere current will flow up to this junction, after reaching this junction, how many branches are there? There are three branches. So the current will divide, like water divides into three, four branches. The charges will divide. As a result, the current flowing through the first branch, second branch and the third branch will be same or different depending upon the value of the resistors. Anyhow, this main current I is dividing into three branches namely I1, I2 and I3. I am going to apply Ohm's law for each unit or each branch of the circuit. Okay? So, applying Ohm's law to the first branch, I find that the current I1 is equal to V by R1 and the current I2 is equal to V divided by R2. And the current I3 must be equal to what? V divided by R3. So this is what V divided by R3. 
and the set of these equations can be called as a one step one okay if you add the currents i1 i2 and i3 that must be equal to the main current because the main current only has branched is it not therefore what i must be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 and this is equation 2 now i am going to substitute on the right hand side of equation 2 for i1 i2 and i3 from step 1 okay therefore i is equal to in place of i1 v by r1 so this is equal to what v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 so i am going to take v as the common factor okay or i can write uh, this i is equal to v into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 and this is uh, equation number 3 okay I want to replace the three resistors by a single resistor. Then only I can get the equivalent resistance. The resistance which is equivalent to the parallel combination of the three resistors. Okay. So, I will replace the circuit by a single resistor. And that single resistor is denoted by the symbol R parallel. Okay. This is R parallel. And for the same potential difference applied across the RP. So, that... Uh, this potential difference is V volt and the current supplied is I ampere. Okay. For the same current I sent by the battery of potential difference V, the effective resistance is R parallel. So, connect these three and get an expression for the current I. Therefore, what is current I is equal to? I is equal to what? V by R. Here V by R parallel. And this is what equation 4. Now look at equations 3 and 4, the left hand sides are the same, therefore I am going to equate the right hand sides. So I will write a V by R, I will write a comparing equations, okay, comparing equations 3, okay, and 4, equations 3 and 4, this V by RP is equal to V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. I have equated 3 and 4. Which term gets cancelled? Now the common factor is V. So V is getting cancelled on both sides. So what is then remaining equal to? Therefore what? Therefore 1 by R parallel. Okay. Is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So this is uh, the equation number 5. Final equation. Okay. Now, this is the reciprocal only, okay? Suppose if you uh, call it as a RP is equal to R equivalent, okay? What is the point we are inferring from the equation number 5? The reciprocal of the effective resistance in parallel. The reciprocal of the effective resistance in parallel is equal to what? The sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances. Is it that? Okay, now you take some different values as before. I will take R1. Okay, R1 is equal to 2 ohm. R2 is equal to 3 ohm. And R3 is equal to 6 ohm. Now, shall we find the equivalent resistance? Okay, so 1 by R equivalent. This is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. Okay, plus 1 by 6. And this is LCM is 6. LCM is 6. So, this is what 2. So, 3 into 2 plus, okay, 2 into 3 plus 6 into 1. So, this is equal to what? 6 divided by 6. That is equal to 1 ohm. Is it right? So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 3 by 6 plus 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6. That is equal to 6 by 6 is equal to 1 ohm. Therefore, you take reciprocal. Therefore, what is R equivalent is also equal to... 1 ohm only. The reciprocal of 1 is 1 only. Okay. What are the 3 given resistors values? 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 6 ohm. Out of the 3, what is the least value of the resistor in that combination? 2 ohm. But what is the effective resistance we have got? 1 ohm. Is 1 less than 2 ohm also or not? Yes. So what do we infer? In parallel combination, that is when resistors are connected in parallel, we find that the effective resistance 
is found to be less than the least of the combination. It is less than the least of the combination. Understand? Okay. Now let us take that if n resistors. Okay. If n resistors. Okay. Each of R ohm are in parallel. Okay, then R equivalent, then R equivalent will be equal to R divided by N. This is a very important for solving MCQs in competitive exams. Okay, my dear students, now we have uh, uh, completed the topic, namely uh, the equivalent resistors uh, in uh, series and uh, parallel. In series combination, what is the expression for the equivalent resistance? R equivalent is also equal to R effective which is also equal to R series RS. That is equal to what? R1 plus R2 plus R3 up to N number of terms when N resistors are connected in series. And we found that the effective resistance in series is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. Okay? Similarly, in the parallel combination, what do we infer? The reciprocal of the effective resistance in parallel is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances. Is it not? Also, what, what did we infer here? Okay. In parallel combination, the effective resistance will be what? Less than the least of the combination. Have you all understood, students? Okay. Fine. Let us meet in the next topic. Bye.